Hey y'all, welcome back. Just imagine Super Bowl Sunday and you got all your favorite Super Bowl appetizers and snacks laying around for people to eat. And then look right over here, you've got beef jerky. This is going to be one great recipe for you to make for Super Bowl Sunday. Real easy, let's do it. So I took the easy way and went to Walmart and got this stir fry meat. It's already sliced up in a perfect beef jerky slices. You can't go wrong with this. It'll be done in two to two and a half maybe three hours at the max three hours at the max two one pound packages of this to our tumbler we're going to add one cup of soy sauce you can use the uh, low sodium soy sauce if you'd like this is just regular soy sauce a half a cup of worcestershire both of these i'm just using great value brand one fourth of a cup of brown sugar you can omit this you don't have to put this in the recipe if you don't want to uh, brown sugar is kind of like a cure, but it does uh, It will make your beef jerky a little bit on the sweet side two tablespoons of honey And what honey does is honey actually breaks down the fibers of the meat and makes it more tender So that's where we're going with the honey probably like about two tablespoons two teaspoons of garlic powder Not garlic salt tea two, two teaspoons of onion powder not onion salt two teaspoons of smoked paprika one teaspoon of cayenne powder and one teaspoon of black pepper. We'll screw our lid on and give it the shake, shake, shake. Give it the what fur. We're gonna give it the what fur, I tell you. Oh yeah. We're gonna speed up our marinating process with this vacuum marinade tumbler. If you don't have one of these, you can easily just put the meat into a Ziploc bag or a, some sort of container, it doesn't matter what. Uh, add your marinade to it. Let it sit in the refrigerator overnight. This vacuum marinade tumbler is 15 minutes. It's like 24 hours. And as you can see, this stir fry is actually the perfect size uh, meat strips. Pour it in our vacuum marinade tumbler. All right. Today we're going to be using the Nesco FD80 dehydrator. Uh, you can pick one of these up on Amazon with a link in the video description. I think this will run you about 80 bucks. You can make this in the oven. Set it on the lowest temperature you've got on your oven. Uh, I believe that's probably going to be around 180. Take the oven door and crack it open with, I've used a little piece of a 2x4 before to let the heat escape. Maybe 2-3 hours. You'll have jerky ready. If it's this thin, thin, uh, if it's this thin meat stir fry we're going to start out at 160 degrees and another thing i like about this is it's very very quiet check this out this is so quiet now we're going to come back in two hours and check this most of it should be done it's dry it's chewy it's meat <laughs> My doggies are down there. They know what it is. They know. It's beef jerky. <laughs> Man. Hey, that's really good. Hey, man, stop. <laughs> that is really good, y'all. Wow. Hey, if you make this and take it to a Super Bowl party, people are going to love you. And it's going to be something that they remember for years to come. If you try this recipe, let me know in the comment section down below. Because I made this recipe for you. Heck yeah. No, I love beef jerky. Small batches. One batch at a time. Y'all have a good one now. And you come back. You. I'm going to sit here. I'm going to eat me some jerky. Mm. <laughs>